Hey guys, this is Udi. So this is a quick video showing you how to stream your DAW, in my case it's Cubase Pro, but it works for anything, uh, to Facebook or YouTube maybe. But um, this particular video is about Facebook. So I just want it to be very, very short and to the point here. So the main problem that most people face is how do I get the sound out from Cubase or my DAW into uh, the screen capturing software. So let's start from the beginning. First of all, you need to have some kind of uh, screen capturing software. I'm using OBS and it's freely available from the website. And here it is, that's obsproject.com. And the second software that you need is VB Audio Voice Meter and I'll show you why you need that software. So in Cubase, when you go to uh, to your studio setup, and I, I'm guessing that's the same in any DAW, you can set your driver, your ASIO driver, right? So normally I use my Crimson ASIO driver uh, because I, I have a, an SPL Crimson interface, but that will take the sound from my uh, Cubase to my studio speakers or to my headphones and not into OBS. So I've installed this software. Voice Meter is really a routing software where it allows you to take um, the sound from um, any source and direct it to another source. And in, in our case, this is exactly what we want. We want to have Cubase sending the sound to voice meter. And in turn, we want to have voice meter send that same sound to our OBS here. So that, that's the, the way to do it. So you, after you install voice meter, you'll see in, in Cubase, you, you'll see that you, you have this voice meter virtual ASIO, right? That, that's the driver that you need to to choose to select so i'm keeping that and i'll just cancel so i don't mess anything and then um you can see that when i play i have my um my sound go into this virtual input now the second thing that you need to do is when you set up obs you, you need to set up your inputs. So I have one input coming here, that's my Cubase, and, and the way to do it is you click the plus and you select audio input capture. When you do that, you have a, a, you know, an option to use an existing one or to create a new one. Let's create a new one. And once you do that, you have a selection of inputs and in in our case we want to have the output that comes from voice meter so that really circle things out right so we have our sound coming from cubase into voice meter voice meter will output the sound to that device and we're selecting the uh, cable output here as our input for obs that's the way to do it so i'll, I'll just cancel that And let's let's have a look. Okay, so th this is indeed my um, my audio input capture. I don't want it here. Let's just remove it. Yeah, I need to remove it from here. Audio input minus. Yes, I'm sure. So uh, now, so th that's that's the first thing you need to do. And you can see the sound here. You can right click and rename this channel so it'd be easier for you to to see what's going on and now how do i uh, get my mic that is a condenser mic connected to my spl crimson to show up here that's the same idea i'll just click plus audio input capture click ok and then i have a choice so the the, the choice uh, is line in so th that's my line in coming from spl crimson and once I do that, I'll just cancel. Um, then, then I have my mic set up here. Now, there is another option, and I've seen people do it. Uh, they they take uh, 
you know voice meter and they use the line in right here that's an option i didn't uh, find uh, this very good the sound quality wasn't good i don't know maybe i i'm i'm you know i'm missing something but that's uh, that's uh, something that i've experienced and and i didn't like it so but the more important thing is that if you if you select to to get your mic from voice meter you don't have a, a chance to um to, to influence the the sound of your mic and to you know maybe introduce some EQ or compression or whatever so when you in you, when you add your mic here the way I did if you right click you have filters and this is pretty cool so if you select filters you can add uh, compressor expander uh, all kinds of other options noise noise suppression and noise gating and so on but you can also add a vst plugin just the way i did so i have my neutron elements here just uh, because it's it's an easy to use all in one like eq compression and i can get the gain a little bit higher here and so on so this is pretty cool if you uh, you know if uh, if you know anything about uh, sound am I, I, I and i'm guessing you are because uh, this video is about streaming your daw then you know uh, the value of that so this is pretty cool let's close that so now we are ready to do the actual work here to stream your session and for that let's go to my page in facebook that's that's my page this is me and if I want to go live I'll just click here live and I don't want to use my camera I want to connect this streaming um, session to my OBS so when you click connect you have a stream key you have to copy that stream key and then you go back to your OBS and go to settings go to stream and there you go I have Facebook live service here I can also use YouTube or whatever but th this video is about Facebook so and all I need to do is paste the key and click apply okay and we are ready to stream so if I click st start streaming what will happen is let let's see uh, I hope this will work because I'm recording and streaming at the same time but there you go so um, I'll just minimize this window and Facebook is fetching the video stream from my OBS and it will come with sound and everything else and you can see that once I click go live then we're ready to go so um, this can take a few seconds as I say the I mean it's it's really related to the to your connection and, and and whatnot but that's the idea so let's go uh, let's go back to um, our uh, our session here and that's that that pretty much it right so I can play you can hear the sounds I can I, I can have my session running you hear my my mic running and that's just about it so one very important last note you see uh, my session here is 48 kilohertz that's the sample rate you have to make sure that you have the same sample rate all the way through so if you go to voice meter you see that i'm set with um, 48 kilohertz for the input and i have 48 kilohertz for the output and if you go to your menu and system settings you see that this is the way it's set up here so this is not a tutorial about voice meter and and i know that there are uh, quite a few tutorials about voice meter so check them out and um, so th that's the idea here and then in obs same thing if you go to settings and you um you go to your audio settings you see that I'm set with sample rate 48 kilohertz so that's what you need to do so OBS is is pretty um, uh, comprehensive tool and it has lots of options so uh, explore that and see what works for you but if you need you know just the basics 
that's the way to do it so um, that's it for now thank you very much check out my channel subscribe if you like uh, you know re video reviews for plugins and software and audio stuff and check out my uh, um, you know my page here um, if you if you need some information if you need some help let me know and I'll try and be very responsive I also have um, a, a little group here called Udi Music Discount so if you're looking for great deals great music deals um, you know subscribe here you know join my, my group and get the latest news and updates alright guys thank you see you soon